Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, if you're brand new here. But today I wanted to do another tag video and it is created by my good friend here on YouTube, Kat L, and the tag is called Bring Them Back. The premise of this video is to talk about handbags that you wish that fashion houses would bring back whether they're discontinued or any other reasons. So this is my Chanel Jumbo Flap and this one is circa 2009 or 2010, so about 10 years old. And this one, what's different about it is that it is a single flap. It's easier to get in and out of and there is no second flap to contend with and it's a lot lighter because this is already such a big bag and there's a lot of leather. It's leather inside and out. Um, the fact that you have a double flap makes it that much heavier. It's the modern days now. We want things to be fast, to be quick, easily accessible, uh, not super heavy to the point where it breaks your shoulder. I feel like despite the history, I feel like the single flap is just that much more practical. They've done the single flap for a few years back then that they should bring it back, especially in the jumbo size. I feel like even if they did it in the medium size, that would be awesome as well, or the small size, just because it accommodates a bit more. The medium and the small size classic flaps are so constricting because of the double flap that it kind of defeats the purpose of having a bigger bag in my opinion. I think a lot of people gravitate towards the mini because of that reason because the minis have a single flap and the minis are lighter and they accommodate just as much. Of course they accommodate a tiny little less but you get the idea, I think. I want to continue my train of thought with Chanel bags and then move on to other brands. So the second line of item that I think Chanel should bring back are Chanel minis in caviar. I know that caviar minis are so, so hard to get nowadays because you can only find it in the secondhand market. Chanel has since discontinued the use of caviar leather on their mini flaps. Um, for a few years now, at least three I think, which is not always ideal because, well, first of all, it's a lot more expensive, second of all, the condition is not always great unless they somehow find a brand new one that someone hardly used and wanted to sell. As much as I love lambskin and the look of it and the luxury feel of it, it's just not as practical and I personally wouldn't travel with the lambskin <laughs> mini flap, but I definitely travel with this. This little baby here comes with me to almost every trip because it's just so easy to pack. It's small but it still packs a punch and I I can rely on the caviar leather for being robust and not get scuffed and crazy things like that. I mean I'm still careful but I don't have to baby it to the extent that I would with a lambskin bag. Let's move on to Louis Vuitton, shall we? So one of the bags that I feel like Louis Vuitton should bring back is the Twice. This is the Twice in Empreinte leather. They also used to make it in um, the canvas. So the flap would be leather, but then the body of the bag would be canvas. The interior is lined in this beautiful microfiber lining, whether you get the canvas version or the leather version. I personally am a big, big fan of this bag. A lot of people still ask me about whether I'm selling this or whether I still love this bag. And I this will never go anywhere because this bag is so hard wearing. Um, I never even put it in a dust bag when I store it because I don't need to. And um, this bag, I don't need to baby. It's pretty much my grab and go Aaron's bag since I no longer have my Palm Springs Mini. A lot of good material. It's really well lined. There's several compartments. Um, it's thin and easy to pack for travel, but it also packs a punch. It actually fits more than the mini flap from Chanel. Uh, it fits almost just as much as the Palm Springs Mini because the back pocket here really expands a lot. Obviously, you cannot put a bottle of water, but you can. it really packs a punch. This is a great, great bag. Continuing with the same fashion house, Louis Vuitton, I think that Louis Vuitton should bring back the favorite MM and PM size. The PM size is definitely gone from their website. The MM size is still on their website, but it's always unavailable, so... I have a pretty good feeling that it's pretty much gone, that it's discontinued at this point. And 
even though I don't own that bag, I really do still appreciate it. And I think it's one of the better, um, it's one of the better looking, really affordable bag from Louis Vuitton. It's such a practical and versatile bag that I think the fact that it's discontinued is such a shame because um, even though I don't own one, like I said, but I feel like if I were to own one, I would gladly get the MM size just because it's just one of those great size that fits a lot, that's still small enough to be super versatile and still be able to travel with, take it on an evening out and such. Of course, LV makes beautiful leather bags as well, and I love them too, but when I think LV and when I buy LV, I usually tend to want to get their canvas because their canvas products are just so beautiful. And like of all the canvas products out there, I really think that LV is one of the most beautiful and most hard wearing ones. It's unfortunate that a lot of the canvas pieces are being discontinued, especially the more affordable ones and the ones that are really, really practical, such as the Eva Clutch favorite, uh, the pochette accessoire. I know that they have the multi pochette right now, but I can never even get my hands on one. It's never even available. The final bag that I want to discuss here that I think should be brought back is the trapeze from Celine. I love this bag so much and I just don't understand it. I don't understand why this bag resale value is so poor. I mean, I kind of understand because a lot of them have lost their structure. Uh, mine hasn't, by the way. Mine is still in really, really good shape, just as good as when it was brand new. It's full leather, by the way. It's leather on the inside, on the outside. Um, there's just so much leather on this bag, but it's not its not really that heavy. I have an organizer in there. It's not that heavy for a full leather bag. Beautiful handle. This handle is amazing. It's one of the best, best handles in the world because you can do the crook of the arm. You can hold it. It's so comfortable. I have it in the small size and mine is, has kept really good. Obviously, I don't use it for work. I don't put a laptop in it, that type of thing. It doesn't even fit a laptop anyway. The fact that they have discontinued this one, I'm glad that I still have my own, but I just don't understand why it's gone. I feel like they should bring it back. And when they bring it back, I feel like they should sort of reinforce, somehow reinforce the bottom. I honestly think that fashion houses sometimes are just trying to... Uh, Sometimes they're just trying too hard to churn out styles, like many, many, many different styles, but a lot of them are just really not practical. They're not the same construction and quality and material as they used to be. Uh, the prices keep going up, but the quality not necessarily. So that's how I feel about it. What do you guys think? Is there any bags that you feel like, especially if there's one that you feel like should really, really come back, what are those? Let me know down below. Of course, I'll be tagging a few ladies as well some of my favorite ladies. And of course, I will also link my friend Kat's video down below. She's the creator of this tag and she always comes up with great ideas. So of course, I'll link her down below, check her out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're not subscribed yet, I would love to have you back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day or a week ahead of you and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.